My name is Davin Sturdivant, and in this video, we will learn how to export data from Ray Studio. So I raise competition cards, and I'm also a writer for Cart Pulse, which is designed to gather information about the sport of carting and put it into an easy to find place. So when I got in touch with Roger Cadell, who's the national trainer for Aimsport, we decided to put together some videos about how to use carding data in Race Studio. We've broken them up into these little mini vignettes, hopefully to make it easy to consume. But if you have questions about whatever we cover, just leave a comment below and we'll put it in another video. So I'm going to turn it over to Roger and take it from there. So Roger, I like to share data with my friends, but we always have trouble getting information from one machine to another machine. Can you show me how to do that properly? Yeah, we have more and more people all the time sharing data, right? And and um, uh, very really pretty straightforward thing. There's there's several different ways of doing it, but um, uh, always great to to talk about it and, and and look at some different ways of doing it. Here, here I've got some tests up, right, in Race Studio two. And uh, we're going to take this this uh, test name SEMA0009. We're going to export that test, and uh, and talk some of the you know little tips and tricks about ways to do it, uh, different ways to do it, and then ways to bring it and import it onto an, another computer. We're going to do it on this computer, but we're going to uh, we're going to show you just a few different ways to make this job a little bit easier. So highlight the test that you want to export, and it might be one test like here, or you can use normal Windows functionality. If you use the Control key, you can select other tests. We can export multiple tests at one time. We're just going to deal with one, one for right now, but we can select those three like that by using the control key, or we can just click on one and then use the shift key, normal Windows you know, tools, and then click on another one with the shift key down, and it selects everything in between the two clicks, right? Normal stuff. So uh, in this case, we're just going to highlight the one. And like many things inside of the AIM software, you, you, you'll have a button down here where you can export the test down here at the bottom right. Uh, so we could do that or uh, lots and lots of uh, you know, submenus by using the right click function. So in this case, this little submenu that shows all the different things you might want to do with that test. By right clicking on it, I can open it. I can look at the test properties. I can remove it out of the database. I can export it, which is what we're going to do in a minute. Another form of exporting that say if uh, if I have a piece of data on my computer and I want to send it to somebody remotely you can do this email test option and what that does is as soon as we click on this I'm not going to do it but it'll open up an email it'll it'll place the uh, the, the files needed into that email and all you need to do is uh, is address it and uh, and push the button and so you can send stuff remotely that way but if you're at the track you actually want to get it into a you know, onto your computer where you can put it on a thumb drive and give it to your buddy, right? So, so, and then the last thing in the sub menu is open the test folder. We can actually go where the test is actually stored, which is a real handy tool sometimes. But in this case, I want to export the test. So I highlighted the test I want to export, and I'm going to click the export test button. And what it does, it remembers wherever you were last. And in this case, I'm on my desktop, and I can, uh, you know, I can just click the save button right now, and it'll take that test and it'll place it onto my desktop. Uh, I want to do something a little bit different here, show you a couple little tricks you can do. Number one, we can build a new folder and then put, because when we export this, it actually exports more than a single file. It actually exports three or four different files that are part of the session, right? So uh, if we just click on the new folder and I'm going to, you know, uh, SEMA, you know, uh, race, whatever you want to call the folder. And I'm going to click on, you hit enter and I'm going to highlight that guy. And, you know, and I'll open it up. So now we're in the, the desktop and then the SEMA race folder. And, uh, and now I can just simply click on the save button. It'll save it right into that folder. But here's another little tip for you. Sometimes if you have the automated file naming structure on in the, in, in when you downloaded the files, that SEMA underbar 0009, that doesn't tell you much, right? It, somebody that's looking at that, if you're going to give the, the file to somebody, you can right in this spot actually come in and you can, you know, take away that and you can, you know, you can type in, you know, John, John, you know, race, you know, Sunday, you know, wh whatever, whatever it is you want to call it. Right. And uh, by changing the name here and then clicking the save. Doesn't look like a whole lot happened, but if I minimize Race Studio 2 out of the way, there's that folder on my desktop. And if I open that up. If I open that up, you can then see that uh, there is John Ray Sunday, the DRK file. 
the GPK file, and there might be other files that are in there. In this case, a dot engine, because on that particular um, test, I have opened up and used the RPM engine analysis function so that it builds a little file to keep track of all my settings. But uh, all of the folder, all the files that you need for that test are placed into the SEMA race folder. Makes it kind of easy then to throw that folder onto a, uh, you know, it might be this test or it might be three or four tests, you know, that uh, that you wanted to send over to your buddy, put it on a thumb drive. Okay, so that's the export process. That process is now done, right? So I'm going to get that out of the way, bring Ray Studio back up. So let's say now we're over on your buddy's computer and uh, and we want to import that test in. It, it's, it's pretty straightforward. What you need to do is take that test, that, that that folder that we just created, and you need to put that on his computer. You know, uh, open up two little windows, you know, file explorer windows, drag it on, bring it. It has to be placed onto that computer. It uh, it actually will work. Here's a couple of, of, of little tips that uh, I hear people run into quite a bit. So let's say you leave it on the thumb drive. You put the thumb drive in the USB drive of your buddy's laptop, and he just opens up this. He hits the import button, and he goes in there, and he... And he, uh, and he, and he, you know, works his way down to where he finds this thumb drive, and he imports it off the thumb drive, and he looks at the data, and everything works fine. But as soon as you pull that thumb drive out, you end up not having the data available to you anymore because the name will be there, but since you have taken that thumb drive out, it cannot take that link and go back to the original data location. So uh, it's always best to take the data when you're going to import it and put it in a good, your normal data folder, a uh, place on your, uh, on your hard drive that it's going to stay there. Because once you uh, import it, it's always going to look in that one, same spot that you uh, originally imported it from. So, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on the desktop, but uh, uh, you would want to put it somewhere that's going to, you know, a permanent location for the data. So import the test is how you go to your buddy's computer. I'm going to go right to the desktop. I'm going to find, you know, the, uh, the sim race folder. I'm going to open that folder, and it's just going to show us the, the main file, the, the DRK or the DRAC, the Race Studio 2 analysis DRK file. That's the main one. Those other ones are still attached to it. They're in there. It just doesn't show it to you. It just looks for those DRK files. So what you're going to do is now we've got John Race Sunday. I'm just going to make sure that's highlighted, which it is, and click on the Open button. What that does is it's just like you're downloading it off of your Micron 4, your, my, you know, originally it opens up our test information setting box you can name it whatever you want at this point and we're going you know we're going to go ahead and name it uh, you know John Ray Sunday John Ray Sunday and we can change all the, the particulars here we can change any test comments we want to it and we're going to click on okay if you had multiples you can click on okay to all so we're going to do that John Ray Sunday it is the same test as 0009 because that's what we exported from. And you can see that the, the lap time, the fastest lap time is the same and, and all the information is still the same. But uh, it's really super that simple in order to bring one test and export it off of a computer, put it onto a thumb drive, move it over on the other computer using the export test function. And then on the other computer, hitting the import test button and then bringing it in from your, uh, your new file location go through that test properties button, click on OK, and that test is now available for uh, on the other computer. So pretty straightforward, and you can do the same thing with multiples. So it's uh, one or multiples, and you can do, I've done, you know, 25, 30 at a time. So there, it, it's, uh, it's a pretty powerful uh, import test function. So that's the end of this Aim, Learn Fast video. We've been taking comments from throughout social media and trying to come up with new topics that are most useful. So feel free to leave a comment below or get a hold of us on Facebook or on Twitter and just let us know any questions you have or any things that you like about these videos. We try to put up new videos every Tuesday, so just stay tuned to our channel and come back for more videos.